We'd like to go over the new Nextcast broadcast version and the management utility and voice track modules that accompany that suite. It's an all-inclusive software package, so when you get the broadcast version, you get your management utility, which also serves as your internet server for your voice track modules. And then um, as many voice track modules as needed, there is no license required. You basically just can send all your talent the voice track um, module to download and install. So I'm quickly gonna show you the steps that you would take um, to set up a voice track system. Um, so you already have your categories loaded. You already have some rotations created. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. Um, and I'm going to generate. So what you would do for voice tracking, you need to pre-generate and we'll just generate for today. So we'll go ahead and let that run. And um, once this is done, there are two possibilities. If you set up your talent, they can receive certain hours of voice tracks that they are, you know, that they are going to do. Um, in addition, there's an admin mo mode, and I'll show you how to set that up. So quickly, in my management utility, I'm going to go here to my app settings, and I'm going to go to host sweeper profiles. So all my hosts will be listed here. I only have one here. You set up their password there. And if they have admin rights, um, then they can voice track any hour they choose. They can also uh, manage the, the music playlist by moving tracks around and uploading the updates back. So once you have this set up, um, you can go now to your VT module. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. So this VT module can be located remotely. Um, I, the example here, I am hooking into my local network, but you can have this, the voice tracker can be anywhere in the world. And as long as the management system has the server on and set, which is again set right here. Uh, let's close this. You'll get the TCP connection. You'll pick a folder. <clears throat> so again, as long as you have TCP connection, uh, direct connection um, selected in the management utility, it becomes the server for your voice track modules. So again, we're back to the voice track modules. So if say this is an admin situation and they want to imp uh, do a voice track for a particular hour, they can hit the import and then uh, it has today's date, but we can pick any date. And then let's say we want to do the 1300 hour or one o'clock hour, I can request that day um, and that hour. So now that the voice track job is loaded into the VT module, I can go ahead and select the position where I would like to voice track. And again, you can have voice track markers, break notes, whatever you need. Uh, but in this case, we're just giving you a simple overview. So uh, the voice track, as many of you know, the voice track is pretty simple. You get your um, outgoing track on the left. Um, you can record your voice track here and then you hit the mark next start to start the next track and then you stop it and you can see I now have my voice track in place. I'm done with that. So you can go ahead and voice track the entire hour. Once that's done, you hit export VT job and then you upload done VT jobs and you will get a confirmation that the, the server received and imported the VT job. So let's go back to the management machine and uh, let's just see, we were doing the 13 hour. So we're gonna check here and hit 13 and there's your voice track. The cool thing about this system too is um, you can do the current hour. So if you need to do a break 10 minutes ahead of time, um, you can do that and send it back. In addition, um, I can maybe request another hour. Let's go ahead and delete this. We're gonna request another hour. Let's say I want 14 and I get my hour. I wanna do some changes. I can rearrange some music. I can insert tracks from the remote library. And then once I'm done with the changes, export, send it back and then I am now going to see those changes reflected here on the server. Thanks for checking us out.